spanking the monkey. They don't want to see that, bro. It scars the parent. It scars you too, I know. You think Islamic school is the solution? Islamic school with no parenting becomes no different from a public school. Obviously, alhamdulillah, it has salah, it has the jumu'ah. I know that. Like, that's amazing. That's a good environment for your children. But it still has TikTok. Say it ain't so. Understand that you have to forgive him for the sake of Allah. You have to understand that, right? Especially if you're a single mom out there, right? Single parent out there. You know, you're scarred now because you're like my innocent little perfect little boy. No, he's not a little innocent perfect little boy. You understand? He's becoming a man, all right? Understand that. Let go of your child. He's a man now, okay? MashaAllah. Come on, he's a man. Treat him like a man, right? Make him go do stuff, right? Go, go, go hunt. Way of life as Q, keeping it a hundred. Okay, so now I'm like, man, what's going on with my camera? You guys have no idea what I'm doing right now to make this whole thing happen. I told you I'm using my cat's thingamajig. I don't, I don't even know what to call this, right? It's broken. My daughter tried to climb on this. Yeah, I need to build my daughter a playground or something. She'd be trying to like climb on the cat's toys. It's crazy, as I could told you. My tripod's still broken over there. Patreon, I appreciate all the support and love. You know what I mean? This is what you contribute to. But if you're already contributing, we got 11 Patreons, mashallah. Say mashallah. All right? Even if you're not one of them, it's cool. You know, make dua for me. You know what I mean? So I got to uh, apply that. So I'm going to go to Best Buy or something or go to Amazon, and, you know, on the website and just see what I could get. But I appreciate all the love and support. Just haven't gotten around to it. Also, what am I getting? Another another one of these, right? Because a lot of you are saying in the, in the comment section and the feedback. That's what the comment section is, is feedback. You think... I, you think I just do it because I love you guys? Of course I love you guys. But, but the comment section is the pulse. Does that make sense? The comment section is the pulse. Come on. Come on. The comment section is the pulse. So I'm, I, I want to be on the pulse of my audience. I want to make sure that I know what you guys want. You know, so you guys are saying, SQ the audio. We're going to get another one. We're going to tell the people to hold the mic. And I hold the mic. To do it themselves. And we get some of the... The background noise maybe from the camera, that's, that's the only thing a little bit. So that's what I worry about. Anyways, listen, you read the title. You know what it is, right? I go on these <clears throat> tangents all the time. This is a part of the show. This is a show, okay? If you don't want to turn into a show, you know people turn into Letterman, Kimmel. They turn into SQ. Let's go, baby. If you see an episode that's 20 minutes long, if this episode becomes 20 minutes long, so be it. Alhamdulillah. That's what we do on this show, Okay. First and foremost, you read the title. You know what's happening right now. I got this message this morning. Shocked me. Shocked me. You know why it shocked me? Because I'm, I'm thinking the 13-year-old is a rookie. He should have had his room locked. All right? So first and foremost, if you're a 13-year-old boy out there and you're, you're going down this path, please take precaution. You know, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is hiding or concealing a sin of yours, it is your responsibility to hide and conceal it. You understand? So if you're going to do it, if you have those urges, you know, because look, what's the, what's the easier hanging fruit right now? Me telling you it's haram or something of that nature or telling you to stop and fight these urges or take the other low hanging fruit, which is I'm just like, listen, if you're going to do this and you're going to repent back to Allah, make sure that your mom doesn't see it, bro. You don't want to see a parent walking on you. Whacking it off, you don't want to come on, bro. Choking the chicken, spanking the monkey, they don't want to see that, bro. It scars the parent, it scars you too. I know, alhamdulillah, it's never happened to me. Has it happened to you guys out there? It might have, it might have, it could happen. It could happen. Now, you see, the issue isn't the fact that he was spanking the monkey, it happens, right? Like, it's gonna happen, it's life. You're a 13 year old boy, you just realize something works. I understand, I understand what you want to do, you understand, I get it. I get it. You wake up every morning and it's you and a friend. I get it. You're just like, what is happening? You know? And then the shaitan is with you. Then you have friends, a circle. That's cute. Send them to Islamic school. Oh, that's what we need to do. Come on, bro. You think that's the solution? You think Islamic school is the solution? Islamic school with no parenting becomes no different from a public school. Obviously, alhamdulillah, it has salah, it has the jumu'ah. I know that. Like, that's amazing. That's a good environment for your children. But it still has TikTok. Say it ain't so. Y'all don't know about education. Y'all don't know about education. It's claiming to be teachers. I'm not a teacher either. Have you seen my certificates? Maybe I'm just, maybe I just like sneak into a building. You don't know. I've never, sh I never, I've never taught in front of you. Maybe I should release one of my videos. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. What do you think? Release that video. Tell me in the comment section below. I'll read it. Tell me. What do you think? We'll do this. Four minutes in, mashallah. What a blessing. What a blessing. You know what I mean? It scars both parties, you understand? So first and foremost, if you're a parent out there, okay, and you saw your child, 
you know, doing the hokey pokey, if you get what I mean. Um, like, understand that you have to forgive him for the sake of Allah. You have to understand that, right? Especially if you're a single mom out there, right? Single parent out there. You know, you're scarred now because you're like my innocent little perfect little boy. No, he's not a little innocent perfect little boy. You understand? He's becoming a man, all right? Understand that. Let go of your child. He's a man now, okay? MashaAllah. Come on, he's a man. Treat him like a man, right? Make him go do stuff, right? Go go, go hunt. Go make him, like, do crazy things like that. Go camping. You know, make him, like, into a man. You know, make him do, like, stuff like that. I'm not saying that you can't do that with him, nor am I suggesting that it's a gender, you know, only a man could go camping. No, girls go go camping, too. We all can go camping. Let's go camping as a family. Let's go to a Muslim camp. Let's go on wearing a little military jacket. Let's go. We'll go, we'll go camping together. I'm ready. Are you ready? We should host a family camp. What do you guys think? I'd be thinking about all these crazy things I want to do with y'all. Honest to God, I do. I'm starting. Okay, listen. Listen, if you're in New York City, all I got to say is this. If you're in New York City and you are winning or you're interested in winning a Umrah trip for you and your mother, right? For you and your mother out there. Just because I don't want this video to become... <sighs> Like a scarred relationship or something like that. You have to understand something. If you're a parent out there, right? Mother or father walking on your child. It could be a single parent household or just a full, uh, uh, you know, parent household. If that's what it's called. I don't know what it's called, right? You haven't seen no degrees. You don't know nothing. I don't know nothing either. If you're, if you're a parent out there, say alhamdulillah that you saw this. Because this allows you to nip it in the bud. You understand? It allows you to nip it in the bud. It's a, and guess what? On top of that, it's how he was, you know, doing the hokey pokey. You know what I mean? It was using pornography. No. No. Okay, first and foremost, kids out there, I need to teach you something right now, okay? Listen, you got those urges. You Listen, SQ may or may not be able to convince you to stop doing it, but I definitely need to convince you to seek Tawbah after you've done it. You understand? I may not be able to convince you to never do it in no fap of, for, of February or, you know, no nut November, whatever y'all be calling it out there. Like, I might not be able to stop you, but I can encourage you to do Tawbah after. That's another low-hanging fruit. You know, don't give up on yourself if you've done that as a, as a mistake. Don't feel low. Shaitan is going to come to you again and again and again. Oh, now you did this. Now you got to do do that now you do okay so if you are gonna do it do not use pornography let me tell you something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you a creative brain use it please use your brain okay do not use pornography and this stuff because it starts off as something basic then shaitan whispers to you and suggests a different type of pornography next thing you know you're watching a goat and a woman and a man and it's just crazy stuff happening you know what I mean and you just don't know how you got here you understand? Pornography is addictive. You have no idea. Pornography ruins lives. Okay, look, 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 look. How about this? How about this? How about this? Right? I always tell you guys my partners is my Tazkia, right? You see, when you, when you do a partnership or a sponsorship with me, it's not, you don't just get like, oh, you get like one post, right? If you're a partner with me, not, not a sponsor, a partner with me. Those are two different things, you see? A partner is someone who's decided to make a long-term investment with me. A sponsor is just like, SQ, go do this thing. I don't know if I'm interested in just sponsors. I'm interested in partners, right? So, you know, inshallah, if, if, if sponsorships go well, then we could continue with the partnership. So my Tuskegee is a partnership because I genuinely believe in what they bring to the table, if that makes sense. Sorry, I was looking at the time, 7.45. I want to make sure that I'm using my time wisely. This is the late show. I see a flock of birds right now. Look at this, subhanAllah. Look at this. Who put the intelligence in these birds to do that? Can you see it? I don't know if you could see it. I'm just marveled at this. Look at that, subhanAllah. They're communicating. They're doing hijrah right now. They're doing hijrah right now. Why? Because of the seasons. We did hijrah because our, our, uh, we were in threat. Our, our, our livelihood was in threat. Our iman was in threat. We need to make hijrah from these sort of uh, sins. Make hijrah from our sins. That's what we got to do. This is a therapy sofa couch. That's why I want to do this. Let me put, ah, ah, I keep getting shocked by this. Why is this happening, God? All right, let's do this here. Let's become innovative. Look how Allah has given us a brain. Allah has given us a brain. Can you believe that? That makes us more superior than anyone else. Is this ice? Oh my God. Because it rained and then it's like below freezing right now, it's become ice. SubhanAllah. Look at this. This, this, is, this is nature. You can't do anything about this. You know what I mean? I don't know what I was talking about. I'm going to be honest with you. But this is the late show. You know what I mean? So anyways, I want to go back to what I was talking to you about, about the relationship with the parents. Okay, so my Tuskia, I genuinely believe in them. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is this. Don't, okay, if, you, if you're someone who's addicted to pornography out there, you know what? Do chuck them out. 
Do check them out for real. Oh my god, it's cold. Get, get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Cold. Oh, this is cold too. Ah, ah, it's getting wet. Oh, subhanAllah. Look at this. Look at this. Allahu Akbar. Allah saved me. Look at this. There's two ways to look at the situation, you see? One way is like, oh my god, I'm wet. My day is ruined. Or, Allah, you just saved me from getting more wet. I got a little wet, right? I got a little wet. That's okay. SubhanAllah. Don't check my bum out. It's not, it's not where it needs to be. But, you know, we're going to get it there. We're going to get it there. Got to get it there. MashaAllah. You guys have been saying I've been looking young, MashaAllah. You know what? Appreciate that. MashaAllah. It's, it's a blessing from Allah. May Allah keep our imans young too. You know, you know what it means by iman young? It means a student mentality. Just be curious all the time. Not... No, not, not, not be playful. You know my children when my when my daughter asks me about the angels on the left and right shoulder, she's she's in shock. She doesn't understand it. We just take a forget, yeah, there's angels on my left and right shoulder. What? Keep our imans young. My daughter's iman is so young right now. She's so lucky. Her brain, her iman is so young. It's so, it's so, mal is malleable a word? I, I was an ELA teacher for a few years. Who, who knows? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I made it a word today. Who decides the words? We decide the words. Oh, God. Would you vote for me if I ran for president? What do you think? Yes? Would you? The real ones would. You know, there's eventually going to be an influencer who becomes a president. You know that, right? Even if it's not me, right? It, it's going to be like Charlie D'Amelio is going to become president one day. Like that's it. People, this generation, when they become 18, they're going to vote her in the office. You understand? Like, get ready. Get ready. Okay. That's all I just want to say, right? So instead, why not, why not us? Why not me? Why not me, right? If they're not even thinking in that direction, what if I started thinking that direction? <clears throat> Imagine. Five years from now. Mr. Beast released a video the other day, right? Some time back. Five years from now, he was like at some maybe 100,000 subscribers. And he made a five years from later video. And he's at 30 million something because he kept at the grind. What if that's me? Who knows? I'm not saying it won't be or it will be. You know, Allahu Alam, that's not my intention. But what if it is? If I have 30 million subscribers, you don't think I could get 30 million votes for office? Or at least be put in the running for the race. You're telling me Patreon members wouldn't help support my campaign? Please. Please. If we all came together, we would have a campaign too, right? You wouldn't vote me into office? You wouldn't? Oh, Sharia law? Sharia. You stupid. Master degrees. Teacher for how many years? 15 years? Isn't that better than going to Harvard? I have to, I, my, my hand was on the pulse of our children. Please, I know what they want better than Biden, than Trump, these old ass people. That's what Ken Kennedy happened. Kennedy got, you know, I would get assassinated. I'd get your boy SQ would be getting assassinated. You know he would. You know he would. You know we'd be doing live streams. I'd be the only president doing Twitch streams. I would be. Yeah, you should. You should see where your tax dollars are going. You should see what, what's happening. You should see the Oval Office. Okay, maybe you can't come in because of security precautions. What are you? Am I trying to kill me? It's okay. You could try to kill me. Allah's gonna protect me, right? <laughs> Where is this conversation going? I don't know. But it's because this military jacket, whenever this military jacket's on me, bro, mm, I love it. I love it. SubhanAllah. May Allah increase us and keep our imans young. You know, just be more excited to learn. Not, not, don't like be excited to learn because you're curious. Not because you want to amass more knowledge. Not so that your beard could get longer. No. Be excited to learn. My daughter just keeps asking me the same questions about those angels. She's still stuck on that. It's been weeks. She's still stuck on that. She doesn't want to learn anything else because her mind is so warped because of these angels. When was the last time you've had this experience? When was the last time? When was the last time I had this experience? I'm having it right now. Whew. The Christians would be like, he has the Holy Ghost in him. No. This is, you know, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes clarity for you, that's not the Holy Ghost. A jinn inside of you is a Holy Ghost, right? Why would you want the whole, why would you want a ghost inside of you? Have you not seen the exorcism? Get out of here, bro. You're crazy. When has a ghost being inside you ever been a good thing? Tell me one time that being a ghost inside of you has ever been a good thing. Casper, not even that. He got some evil ass brothers. Tell me one time. The Holy Ghost is a good thing. You're bugging, bro. Why would you ever want a ghost inside of you? Oh, stuck for Allah. No way. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim. You thought I was playing? I got them a swag stick. You thought the real ones know what I'm talking about? Real ones know what I'm talking about? 14 minutes in. I think it's been 10 minutes since I maybe checked. Or maybe 7 minutes. I'm not sure. But this is the late show. 
This is the late show. That's what this is. The early morning show. Start your day right. The late night show. They want you to end their day in a way and then prime you for the next morning. I want to prime you for the day. Understand we're here to take over. That's what we're here to do. Vote for me for office. What is it? 2036? Yeah? 2036? Maybe. Who knows? Mr. Beast had that many followers. That. Who knows if the subscribers, that's what they're able to do. Vote me into office. Or at least get me in the running. Right? Get me in the running. We could change the world. Change the economy. We could change the economy. You know how? By producing better education. More students. More understanding of math. More understanding of mathematics. Why is it that... Yeah, if you've ever seen Richie Rich with, with, with Macaulay Culkin and all that sort of stuff, like the school setting is a real thing. Like these billionaires' children learn about these things at that age. It might be a little exaggerated, but... It, it, they learn about these things at an early age. You don't think my daughters, could, my, my daughters at this age can understand statistics? Who says who? Says who? I was talking to my daughter about... Man, y'all be playing games with me. Y'all be playing games with me. Y'all yeah, think that SQB cap it. I'm tired of this, bro. I'm tired of this. Y'all yeah, think SQ is capping. Don't mind the mess. Yeah, I think SQ is capping. I was teaching my daughter math. Yeah, it's a frozen board. Yeah, it's frozen. I get it. I understand. But I was teaching her some mathematics. Trying to add three and two and one and understand stuff. Yeah, I get it. Children content is coming soon. I want them not to have these sort of things. But we're going we're gonna to fix this. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. Guys, listen. Listen, 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 listen. Don't worry. Make dua. Make dua. Don't worry. We're going to fix it. We're going to fix everything, inshallah, together. Together. We're going to change the generation. How? By starting at a young age. We're going to invest in education. Programs for TV. If your program shows some suggestive nonsense, my children will not be able to see that. They will not be. You'll be taxed. You will be. You'll be taxed. You'll be taxed. Yeah, that's very unpopular, right? But when those children grow up to be geniuses, when those children become like the movers and thinkers and the scientists of the future, the ones who are more conscious of themselves, more self-aware, when all this garbage advertisement, oh, but then SQ, yeah, who, who the taxpayers, and the edu that's why they won't vote for you. It's okay because you guys will. You understand? Oh, but then SQ voting is haram. Uh, you're telling me you wouldn't vote for me? Really, you would have a religious dilemma if I ran for office? You know what I could do? SubhanAllah. You think I'd be, SQ is going to become a puppet. SQ, please, you think you can control me? I'm from the Bronx, bro. You think you can control me? They don't want a dude from the Bronx. They don't want a dude from the Bronx in the office. Same way they would have want some real ass dude from Compton or something. They don't want a dude. They don't want a dude, an educated dude from the Bronx. They don't want that, bro. They don't want that, but it's okay. We can make it happen, right? By that time, you'll probably be registered to vote. Maybe. And you might decide to vote for me or not. But either way, I'm going to make sure that your privacy is protected from all the social media. My apps, if I've developed some, will not have any type of spyware on it. It won't have any type of GPS location. So if you're spanking that monkey, we don't have to know. People are upset about this Muslim pro thing still. You know, oh, but the, the, the location. You know what? Screw that. Thank you for the location. And then help me locate the people who are not praying. Mm, help me locate them and let me shake their asses up a little bit. How dare you not pray? Ooh, you know what? I, maybe me being a president might not be a good idea. Maybe I would, I would I'd, get, I'd, I'd, I'd catch a case, bro. I'd catch a case if I was a president. If I heard someone was not a Muslim, you came, you were not praying? You, that Eid celebration? Eid would be a worldwide holiday. You're crazy. Eid would be a holiday for the world. You're bugging. You're bugging. The whole world would celebrate Eid. <laughs> if, 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 if America's a superpower, Islam is a superpower. Trust me. Get me in the office. Let's do it, baby. We'll do it. I'll set up a team. I'll set up a team. A really good team. You know what? Of Muslims and non-Muslims. Of who? The best thinkers in the world. The best thinker. You're Japanese. Come over. You're Japanese. I want to work with you. Russia, I want to work with you. Germany, I want to work with you. China, I want to work with you. Why? Because you have the best minds in the world. Why are we trying to dominate? And na 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 Why? Let's pay each other's debts off. Let's figure it out. Let's find a way. How we can do this. But free the Uyghur Muslims. Don't you fucking... Oh, my God. Oh, but, mm, I, I dropped the nuke on you. I would. Yo, if you don't free them, oh, I dropped the nuke on you. Yo, if 2036 comes, I am in office in China. You have not released the Uyghur Muslims. 
your boy, there's going to be a third time that the U.S. has ever dropped a nuclear bomb. It's going to be a third time. It's going to be with me. You better release them. If I'm president, you don't even play with me, boy. Bugging. You think I want... You want to vote for me? Bugging. Pal you think Palestine wouldn't be free? Shut the hell up. You think Palestine wouldn't be free? Are you laughing? Tell me you're laughing at home right now. Tell me you're feeling and under... Tell me you're understanding. I love this quote, by the way. Alhamdulillah. Blessing from Allah. Tell... The real ones. The real ones are watching this. That's all that matters. I love you all. Palestine wouldn't be free. Oh. Oh. I'd give them a place to live too. They wouldn't be under occupation, but I'd give them a place to live too. After they apologize. After they reprimand themselves. Listen, I don't want, I don't want beef for Israel. I don't want beef for Israel. I want us to work together too. Why not? There's, there's intelligent Israeli people out there. Why not? Let's work together. Not Zionist. Jewish people, welcome. Come Jewish people, let's work together. Your economic system, the way you've developed communities is something to marvel over. Let's work together. Let's work with the nation. Help. How do we build more community in America? That's the goal. Build more community. Not make America great again. America was never great. When was America great? When slavery took place? When everything was getting built for free and you kept all the profits? That was when America was great? No, America's going to be great then. 2036, baby. This is SQ running for office right now. This is SQ running for office right now. Mail it in. Mail it in. If I'm alive, if Allah, if Allah wants on wills, if Allah wills, you know, 16 years from now, who knows? Wow, I'd be pretty young. And if, if inshallah Allah SWT continues to bless me and guide me and forgive me and have mercy on me and make me a better person, make me a better father, a better husband, a better brother, a better leader, more sincere, honest, I mean, only support I need from you are your duas. That's it. Not your votes. Pff, keep them. Keep them. I don't need your votes. This is the late night show. Okay, 22 minutes in. My camera may or may not give out right now. I don't know, honestly, if I've stood true to the title of this video. But I will tell you this. That learn to forgive each other. Learn to understand that this was a blessing from Allah. Because you can nip it in the bud. And obviously, uh, my Tazkia, which I totally forgot to say, go check them out. Don't don't check them out or check them out. It's up to you, right? Uh, but they have a YouTube channel, right? So if you if you are a parent out there, you want to educate yourself, check out their YouTube channel. Uh, really a great place, a source of a resource for you to learn about the children, inshallah. And if you're someone out there who's honestly stuck and hooked on pornography, sex addictions, and masturbation, if you've gotten that far, it could be anyone. It's completely anonymous. Sign up for their program. It's the best investment you'll ever make in yourself. It's an investment. All right, SQ. It's not free. Okay. Things in life aren't free. Things in life aren't free. Pay for things, bro. If you need something, pay for it. How is it we're okay with paying for non-Muslim things? How Netflix subscriptions, Hulu, this and that. But when a Muslim wants to ask for something, it's a problem. Yeah, Muslim Pro messed up, right? But why weren't we paying them from the beginning? Yeah, and you know what, Muslim Pro? Those advertisements you were putting on your, on your thing were disgusting. And you knew it. And I don't know if you're a Singapore guy or a French guy or whatever, but just know that that was disgusting, okay? It's a damn app. Like, you got to pay more um, like, mind to it. You can't just sell out and just like, have everyone advertise, 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 and you're earning money. Okay, alhamdulillah, my mic is on. Whew, alhamdulillah. It's because if you know, it's, it's been messed up. Anyways, you can't do that, bro. You can't do that. So you know what? I'm not saying Allah can't forgive you. Renew your intention, fix it. I'm just because I'm thinking because I'm thinking of my little conspiracy sort of mind. Like, why why did this just pop up out of nowhere? Why did this just pop out of nowhere? Oh, it just happened. Boop, boop, 
It just, boop. Someone dug it. Someone searched for it. Someone exposed it. Why that day? Why that day? Why in a Muslim app that's downloaded 98 million times? Why? It's a sazish, bro. It is. It is. Trying to make you stop praying. Okay, they did wrong. But how many times did you wake up for Fudger because of their app? It's a sazish, bro. Okay, okay, you know what? Delete that app. Download another one then, okay? But there's going to be some people who was that was the only app for them, and they're going to delete it. And there goes their salah. So congratulations. Congratulations. You did it. Okay, they messed up. I'm not saying what they did was correct. Okay, but just know that it was a company that posed, that posed as a regular company, but turned out to be the U.S. military. So just know that they were in the wrong too. But they were in the more wrong. But everyone's in the wrong, but they're in the more wrong. And Muslim app, you shouldn't have sold our You shouldn't have. Come on, bro. But you know what? I don't know what it's like to be given a bag of money. I don't know what it's like to get a bag. Right? I do know sometimes you have to compromise your morals. I get it. But that's wrong. And it shouldn't be for compromising morals. Like there's a, there's a sponsorship that I'm taking. Right? And I'm going to be honest with you. You know what? Because you made it for 25 minutes in this video. I'm going to be honest with you right now. Okay? So a Muslim marriage app hit me up. Okay? Now... I'm thinking to myself, okay, I want to make sure that I do things right because I've heard so many things about, uh, you know, Muslim dating apps and blah, 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 blah. And that's not what I'm trying to promote. I'm not here to try to promote a dating app to anyone, okay? So see this now before you see that video as well too. But I'm trying to help two of my friends out find a freaking spouse. That's what I'm trying to do, okay? Tell me what you're trying to do. That's what I want to do and that's what I'm trying to do. So that's my intention over there. Am I going to use a Muslim marriage app? To make that happen, inshallah, absolutely. And my, my YouTube channel, absolutely. And through my Instagram channel, absolutely. Because my goal is to get them a spouse. Not through that app, but through any means possible. So if that, if that gets them a spouse through someone, that's wonderful. How we get that, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about mahrams. We'll talk about well, these come in soon. We're filming that today, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, that's going to be a really, really fun one. So I don't know, right? I don't know. I, I get a sponsorship. I'm thinking consciously of Allah, right? I don't know if they were. Maybe they weren't. Maybe this was Allah's way of checking your intention. So get back up, Muslim Pro app. And get back on your horse, make those apologies that you need to do, change your intentions and fix the problem. And get rid of those dis gartia, gartia ads. Get rid of those gartia ads. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Hopefully I stay, hopefully you got the message that you were supposed to get from this video. I don't know. It's just like, I got to go get a bagel and coffee for my family. Like, come on, SQ's got to go and, and have a life right now. Okay, I love you all for the sake of Allah. I should just live stream my life, put you on a GoPro and just walk around. I'd love to do that because I'm really like this in real life. I promise you I am. Maybe that would be a good idea. Tell me in the comment section below. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you so much. <sighs> First five people who email me get an Amazon gift card who made it this far. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.